So today we're making a really fun recipe. A little time consuming, but definitely worth it. Oh yeah, these are really good. So these are some very delicious egg rolls. I like to serve mine with uh, some sweet chili sauce. I prefer soy sauce because spicy is a no-go for me. <laughs> yeah. This is an old family recipe that my mother used to always make as whenever I was a kid growing up. So I hope you all enjoy them. Okay, let's get started. All right, so for this recipe, you're gonna wanna go ahead and gather up all your ingredients. We have some ground beef. Also, we have a bell pepper, some green onions, some soy sauce, granulated garlic, couple eggs. And then we have some egg roll wrappers, an onion, this one's a white onion. <coughs> Sorry, that's our dog. He's a baby. Yeah. Um, and a medium sized cabbage and some bean sprouts. All right, let's get cooking y'all. Okay, so now we're gonna chop up our green onion. So we're gonna use the green all the way through to the white as well. Yeah. I know a lot of recipes you split it, but this one you're gonna use both. It's gonna be cooking for a little while anyways. There's quite a bit of chopping in this recipe. Yeah, a lot. That's okay, we can make some quick work of it, it'll be fine. <laughs> You could always prep this one ahead of time if you wanted, so you didn't have to spend all day doing it, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty. Alright, so it'll look something like this when you're done. Right. On to the next step. Yeah. So now we need to chop up our bell pepper. Which isn't as hard as you think. No. Just use the same technique that we've shown you on other videos. Yeah, very, very minimal waste there. Doing it like that, the whole seed just kind of comes right on out. Cause I don't know about you, but every time I tried to just pull it out, I made a big mess. Yes. Okay. And these, uh, these don't have to be pretty or anything like that. Like I said, they're gonna be getting cooked for a substantial amount of time, so like an hour or so. So it's gonna be cooking down into the sauce. So they don't gotta be like really big pieces or small or anything like that. Just whatever you can do with your knife skills. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. All right, we'll finish chopping this up and see you in a second. So now we're gonna go ahead and chop up the onion, same way we did with the bell pepper really. Just into tiny chunks. Don't need to be pretty. No, it's gonna be getting cooked for a while, so. These are still pretty. It just kind of happens. <laughs> I can do that, but it's significantly slower, so for your sake, we let him do it. Yeah. That's got a lot of practice, many years in the industry. We can toss that in the bowl with our bell pepper and green onion. Yep, let's get moving to the next step. So now this step is optional, but he likes to do this so that, you know, the stuffing stays in your egg roll. He's just rough chopping up the bean sprouts. Cause nobody likes being hit in the face with a bean sprout when you try to take them. Yeah, you're not trying to like dice or anything. It's just putting a couple of cuts through it. So that way, like she said, it doesn't just all pull out whenever you're trying to eat it. That's all you do. Okay, let's move on. So now it's time to cut up some cabbage. All right, if y'all don't know how to take the core out, what I like to do is I like to just put a couple slices on either side of the core into like a diamond shape. And then the whole core just kind of comes out nice and easily. Oh, well, that's handy. Yeah, definitely. Helps a lot, trust me. So the way that I found the easiest way to do it, it's kind of just like the onion. I kind of just put some slices in it like this. You're basically just gonna be cubing it up just into a little bit bigger pieces than an onion. That's fair, it's a little bit bigger than an onion. Yeah, I like to make sure and let the hold it all together so that way you can chop it all in one go. It makes it a lot easier for myself personally. 
But if you don't have big hands, then you could do it like in half or something. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. We'll finish cutting this up and see you in a sec. Now that all that fun chopping's out of the way, let's go ahead and start browning our meat and get to the actual cooking. <laughs> So we just turned the pan on to about medium heat. We're gonna brown this completely and then we're gonna end up draining the grease. Once you've drained your grease, we're gonna go ahead and add in the soy sauce. We're gonna be adding about a cup of it or so. You can just guesstimate, that's fine. Or you can measure if you're like me. <laughs> yeah, or you can measure. It's really all to your own personal preference, really. It looks like about a cup. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in some granulated garlic. About a tablespoon's worth. I like to just guesstimate, honestly. That's what I normally do. And just give it a good mixing. Okay, so now that we have all that in, we're gonna go ahead and add our green onions, onion, and bell pepper. And then get that mixing. So once you got the onions and bell peppers in, in there, let's go ahead and add your cabbage and bell sprouts. Or bean sprouts, sorry. <laughs> bell sprouts is Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and plop that in there. Give it a, as good of a mixing as you can. And then we're gonna place the lid on top of it to kind of help all that cabbage cook down. It will be cooking for a little while. I like to keep it on like a low heat and you'll just slowly add in the rest of the cabbage as it as it reduces there's quite a lot yeah there is quite a lot left so <laughs> don't worry that you have too much it will cook down all right so once it's simmered for about an hour or so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat we're gonna be grabbing out however much we need for the serving that we're gonna be for for dinner or lunch whatever you're having it for portion this into a bowl and then put it into the refrigerator the reason that you're going to want to put it into the refrigerator is um, if you try to roll the egg rolls, the wrappers will just like fall apart and melt and everything. You just don't want that to happen. So you have to do it cool. Makes sense. Yeah. So then was, we'll let the rest cool down on its own for yeah, later use. Yeah. And then you can go ahead and put that in the fridge once it's fully cooled down. Um, so we'll see y'all back once this is cool. All the buffers. Everyone's very sleepy. All right, so once your uh, egg roll stuffing is fully uh, like cooled down, just kind of go ahead and start wrapping them up. All right, so you're just gonna put like a nice spoonful onto each one, right in the middle, kind of about like that. Go hear some noises. Don't mind. It's the dog. We just got a new puppy. Still kind of trying to train them a little bit. Alrighty. So once you got it into the middle, I don't know if y'all ever like rolled a burrito or not, but it's just kind of like the same premise. So you fold it over once, you tuck the sides in. <laughs> tuck, sorry. Tuck the sides in kind of like that. Put a little bit of the egg um, onto it. It's just a beaten egg with like, you know, and then you just roll it up the rest of the way. The egg is so it seals nice. It doesn't come apart while it's cooking. And just kind of put a little bit on the other side just to make sure it's fully sealed. And it's good to go. Then you just repeat that with however many you would like to make for that night. That oh, looks nice. Doing my best. Doing good. This is about what it should look like whenever it's done. And so we'll see y'all back after we got all these finished. All right, so once you got all your egg rolls rolled, we're gonna go ahead and drop them into the oil. They look nice. Yeah, they look good. Um, I try to keep, it on, keep them on like medium high heat so that way they don't brown too quickly. Just be careful with them. Yeah, make sure you uh, put them in with the oil going away from you so that way they don't splash up onto you. you never toss them towards yourself. Bad idea, trust me. <laughs> Alright, 
Now we're gonna let these cook until they're about golden brown. If you don't have enough oil in there, you can always flip them part way through. Once they're done cooking, go ahead and pull them out. I like to place them on a um, plate that has some napkins on them to catch all that excess grease. You're gonna wanna try to cover them over the uh, pan, pot. Get some of the oil off. Yeah, get some of the excess oil off and out of them. Let them drip a little bit. Go ahead and put them all onto the plate. I think they're looking good though. Mm-hmm. You did a great job. You did too. Thank you. And this is what they look like. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now it's time for the best part of the video, which is where we get to try it. Always the best part. Definitely my favorite. Definitely. <laughs> Delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's anything you want to see us make, let us know in the comments down below. We're gonna go eat these, like all of them, but um, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.